All right, I got some uh, tips for all my Bigfoot buddies out there that bought the Psionics night vision. Um, maybe you're not like me, but personally, I bought it, played around with it, and I thought, yeah, this is pretty cool. And then the more and more I was using it, uh, the thing is trash. But I found some redemption in it. The, uh, the colored night vision aspect of the units is gimmicky. Um, it's cool when you first look at it. If you have a lot of ambient light, it works good. It makes everything look pretty cool. But uh, this is night vision. So I need it to work without a lot of ambient light. So after watching some videos, and I will post the one I did find on here, I found a few things that will help out. Uh, it definitely redeemed the psionics in my eyes to an extent. Still have some problems with it. Uh, connection issues with the app, trash. Uh, when you're looking through the unit on its own, it's pretty good. As soon as you hit the record, you switch it over to record, it starts washing out. You can tell the difference in between what you're looking at and then when you hit record. Uh, not real happy about that part, but the trick is not in the, uh, the color aspect of it where it shines and where it's you know actually kind of worth the money now is the black and white setting um i'll never use color again unless i'm on a beach or something with a lot of light uh, where i want something to look pretty but when i'm trying to find something in the dark the color is not it doesn't do any good black and white is the best palette to be on and uh, turn down your frame rate. Uh, the higher the frame rate, the higher the washout there is on the screen. Go down to 24, if not 15 frames per second on your black and white setting. And it's like having a new piece of equipment. color aspect it is what it is but another thing I don't like battery life trash uh, does not last man I use it half as much as my thermal and it's got two batteries and the things just especially if you record it just doesn't last very long at all if you don't have if you've got 50% battery you can almost pretty much guarantee you're going to have connection problems with the uh, with the app you know and I was thoroughly disappointed after running it in the field for a while I even bought a really bright IR flashlight uh, which helped but that also washes everything out but when I use it on the black and white palette it works as it's supposed to something about the color it just bleeds everything together but as soon as you switch it over to black and white it makes a world of difference so uh it's not trash but i wish i would have paid about 300 dollars less than i did for the unit so we'll see i've got one of those uh like super durable military uh android phones coming with the night vision so we're going to run them side by side and see what we get.